Oh yeah, Tinsel Coil 2 SSTC. That is uh, the new resonator. That's um, 420 turns of number 30 Kynar wire wrapped wire. Uh, I had to splice it in the middle, I ran out of wire. Uh, it's on a six and a quarter inch diameter uh, Bakelite coil form that once was the inner uh, uh, wall of a uh, uh, calorimeter. Now it's a tinsel coil. And uh, on the top there, that's a uh, chrome double dome. That's two baby moon hubcaps taped together. That's the top capacity. And the primary is um, the same length of wire as on the uh, version one uh, primary, but uh, on this coil it only makes four turns, and it's uh, offset. What I did was I just took some little uh, little rubber feet and uh, stuck them directly onto the coil itself, the secondary, and then wound the primary over those uh, little rubber feet. So there's. Uh, uh, maybe a centimeter of uh, space in there uh, between the primary and the secondary. You know, I'm, uh, uh, you have to revise your whole uh, thinking about uh, Tesla coils because we're used to dealing with, uh, you know, 15 or 20 kilovolts in the primary. Uh, so you have to be very careful about insulation and spacing, and you can't, you certainly can't afford to have uh, an arc jump from your primary to your uh, secondary coil because it'll ruin your whole day uh, and could kill you in fact if you happen to be uh, 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 taking the discharge uh, to a uh, to an object uh, and grounding it through your body or something like that uh, but with the uh, solid state Tesla coils you're uh, in this particular coil uh, I'm swinging a maximum of about 250 volts DC uh, through that uh, 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 number 12 uh, automotive primary wire there so there's no danger of shock or insulation breakdown or anything. Uh, you do have to be careful where you put the primary though because the, if you happen to be at a point where the voltage of the secondary is already high enough, uh, the secondary could break down and arc to the primary. But uh, I've kept things low enough, I hope, uh, to uh, obviate that uh, possibility. Um, okay, so, and I've also, uh, this is also my uh, second uh, X-Bridge. It's just a little bit more carefully laid out and constructed with a little bit more space, but there's no, no real change in the circuitry, except I'm using IRF uh, P450 MOSFETs, which kind of have a sl soft slowdown time, but, or turnout time, but they're a little bit uh, 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 higher voltage capability. And I'm uh, just experimenting with a couple of different phase transformers there. But, uh, and I've also made a couple of changes in the uh, uh, in the circuit. Uh, whereas before I was driving uh, directly from the uh, 494 to the first uh, uh, current amplifier there, now I'm actually inverting, uh, the, the splitting the signal and inverting it so that I have uh, a much more uh, balanced uh, signal going into the current transformer. In, in, actuating it. So that gives me a little bit better signal output, which then goes into the gate phase transformers to drive the X-bridge gates. So overall, uh, things work a little bit better. And the, this uh, new resonator uh, brings the frequency down to something under uh, 400 kilohertz, which is good because now I'm, <clears throat> now I'm not in the... <laughs> now I'm not a uh, unofficial uh, AM broadcast station anymore. Okay, so let's uh, s see what happens when we push the uh, uh, baton. Oh, that is uh, actually sparking over to the lamp there. And that's over six inches. And at this uh, lower frequency, the MOSFETs really don't mind. I can kind of leave it on. Let's 
it's got a really nice bass thump to it. I'm trying to get it to the right angle to uh, show the length of the spark there. I'm getting to the point here where I've got to move it out of the kitchen because it's, uh, it's capable of... Uh, if I really, I'm not even at full power either. Uh, this is only putting in 110 volts uh, across the coil, and I, I can put up uh, uh, I can put it up to 180, uh, which I have not yet tried because I'm kind of scared to. And I also have MOSFETs that will switch uh, on uh, and off with a faster rise time, and that will also increase the spark length. That's playing with the uh, gate duty cycle, and. Uh, That's the gate frequency. Gate duty cycle. I don't want to turn it up too much. Okay, I gotta turn it off now. Yeah. Woo, babies. All right. That is uh, Tinsel Coil 2 SSTC. First light. Thanks for watching.